All right, for this video, we are introducing Chapter 16 in your Physical Science uh, course. Uh, it's in uh, Heath Physics, Chapter 16, page 490, 491, or 16.1 and 2. We're talking about lenses, and uh, we watched a video in this course, uh, and here's the video link right here. Uh, the video is an introduction to converging and diverging lenses. It's very good. I'm going to skip to, uh, right now I'm going to skip to the summary part of the video. So credits to www.designmate.com for a wonderful video. It's only five minutes long. Um, I would uh, seriously recommend you looking up this video, Convex and Concave Lenses, Physics, Eureka.in. So here's a, uh, another website here uh, that will have some of this information. Anyways, here is the summary. It's just a minute and a half long, so I'm going to watch this. This would be a good uh, introduction to what we're learning about in lenses. Light rays parallel to the principal axis and incident on one side of the convex lens undergo refraction and converge at a point on the principal axis on the other side. Two, the focal length of thinner lens is greater than that of the thicker lens. Three, a real image produced by a convex lens is formed on the other side of the object. 4. The parallel rays of light incident on a concave lens undergo divergence if they emerge on the other side. And 5. The concave lens produces a virtual image that is an image formed on the same side of the object. So there's a short summary to the, at the end of the video that we watched. Very good. Um, but it talked about the difference between converging and diverging lenses. And if we move to our second page here, uh, there's some notes that uh, should be taken here. Now I've drawn on the side here uh, the shapes of lenses that you saw in the video. This right here in red okay, is the convex shape of a lens. Now this uh, causes light rays to converge. So it's a little bit different than the mirror chapter. But as light rays come in, and you'll see them here traced out in green, light rays come in, they undergo refraction, and the shape of the lens causes those refracted rays to come to a point on the other side of the lens here. And of course this is the focal point, uh, and just like uh, in the mirrors. Okay, so there's a convex shaped lens. It's a converging mirror. Over here on the other side, okay, outlined here, is the sh general shape of a concave lens. All right, so you see how um, it's, it's concave here. Convex means it's kind of coming, jutting out. Concave means it's going in. And so this type of lens, the diverging lens right here, spreads the light rays out. And so as the light rays pass through, they diverge away from a point. And in the video, it was mentioned that the converging point would be on the front side of the lens. So two basic types of lenses, the converging lens and the diverging lens. So that's the first major thing uh, that we need to understand here in this, this chapter. There's a few terms in section 16.3 that uh, we should... Uh, know about, and they are listed here. Um, I, I have left some of these blank for you to go through the chapter and define them on your own, but also because they are, there's a lot of overlap between the last chapter we talked about mirrors. So a few terms, optical center, that is the geometric center of the lens. So if this is a picture of the lens up here, the optical center would be this center right here, the optical center. All right, it's the point also that the principal axis, and there's a principal axis for lenses, just like there is for mirrors, it's the point that the principal axis would pass through the lens. The principal focus uh, would be, uh, for a converging uh, lens, would be right here, the principal focus, where all the light rays meet. The focal length is the distance from the optical center to the focus. The focal length, again, very similar to the mirror chapter. Now there is a secondary principal focus, and that is denoted with F uh, prime here. It's a little kind of a 
tick mark there, F prime. It's the point that exists in front of the lens, and um, we're talking mainly about uh, concave mirrors here. So let me just get you a diagram for that. So in this diagram of a diverging lens, you can kind of see that the light rays travel through the lens and they diverge away. But where they would converge would be on the front side of the lens. And here's, um, here's F, uh, the, the focal point there for a diverging lens. The focal plane, this is the vertical line that's imaginary and it's perpendicular to the, the principal axis where all images are focused. So um, yeah, here's the focal plane right here passing through the focus. It's an up and down perpendicular plane to the principal axis. There's your short introduction to lenses. That's 16.1 to 3. Some diagrams. I would encourage you to read over that. And uh, we'll talk about rules for converging lenses. That's going to be in our next lesson right here.